a typical TV news report, for example, um, on you know ABC News, will show dramatic pictures of of these confrontations where Palestinians are are confronting Israeli troops and the Israeli troops are responding. But Friday saw more clashes in Hebron between stone throwing Palestinian youths and Israeli soldiers armed. With For most Americans who don't understand the history of the conflict, uh, this is an example of the riots that are going on where uh, the, the authorities are taking measures to crack down. What's not mentioned is the fact that these confrontations are taking place on occupied territory, uh, that the, the Israeli troops who are there are defending um, an occupation that's, that doesn't have any international legitimacy, that's illegal. The lack of context is so dramatic that only 4% of the network news reports on the occupied West Bank and Gaza Strip mentioned that the West Bank and Gaza Strip are occupied. The Israeli military sends its troops into the occupied territories to defend what is considered an illegal occupation. And when the population there resists, uh, Israel is, is presented as being under attack. Israel was responding to an attack today. Israel has beefed up forces following a Palestinian mortar attack. To Sharon, the West Bank invasion is simple self-defense. The Israeli Prime Minister reiterated Israel's right to self-defense.